Mums need bathroom breaks too. In this video, we listed the top 6 smart best baby monitors in the market in 2019. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you have a baby in your house, or if you recently became a parent, a baby stroller is definitely a thing which you will probably need, if you don't want to spend all of your time next to the baby, and wake up to false alarms. This kid-friendly camera is as capable as it is cute. It comes dressed up in a bunny outfit, and can be placed anywhere in the nursery thanks to a rechargeable battery. It has a multicolored nightlight whose color and on times are customizable. There's two-way audio and a button that lets you play lullabies or soothing white noise. Lastly, the camera is jam-packed with sensors which react to the child's movement and the sounds it makes while taking measurements of the humidity, temperature, and air quality. Video output is excellent. 1080p may seem like overkill to cover a child's room, but you'll be glad you invested in it once you see the crystal clear feed and quality clips for the first time. The camera conserves power until you turn it on and will notify you when the battery needs recharging. The app gives you complete control over the camera's behavior. Here you can view the feed and sensor logs, adjust sensor sensitivity, and set notifications whenever the sound or motion sensors are triggered. Geofencing is also supported, meaning that alerts can be enabled and sent to your phone whenever it gets out of the monitor's reach. Project Nursery consists of a 720p camera and a modified Amazon Echo speaker. It's always nice to have another one of these in your home, but if you don't need the Echo, the camera is sold separately too. We strongly recommend that you go for the complete version as the speaker has all the features of a regular Echo, plus two additional buttons. One lets you shut the speaker off completely, microphone and all, which comes in handy when you want some privacy. The other disables its Wi-Fi, turning the Echo into a standalone Bluetooth speaker. The camera has a sturdy base and delivers a feed of your nursery in excellent quality 720p. You'll need to plug it in, but the long cable lets you position the camera in a reasonably large radius around the outlet. Its night vision is strong and able to provide a detailed view of the entire nursery with good contrast. The camera can record video locally onto an South Dakota card, so you won't need to pay cloud storage fees. It has mechanical tilt and pan as well as an accurate temperature sensor. The individual components of Project Nursery work best when used together. Asking Alexa to show you the nursery through the supplied Echo opens up the camera's feed in seconds. You can also inquire about the current room temperature, take 30-90 second clips or snapshots, and play soothing noises or lullabies either from one of the system's smartphone apps or by telling Alexa what you need. Best of all, Project Nursery works with existing Echo devices, meaning you can access it from anywhere within your home and from multiple sources. Traditional baby monitors amounted to a two-way speaker system that let you listen in on your baby's activities. While smart models integrate this feature as a matter of course, few of them supply a dedicated speaker that lets you know what the baby is doing without needing to check your phone. That's exactly what Safety First was concerned about when designing this smart baby monitor. Although the separate speaker is its standout feature, smooth video and access sharing make this model even more appealing. The camera is small and unobtrusive. You can install it anywhere within reach of an outlet including screwing it onto a wall or other flat surface. The speaker needs to be plugged into, but its small form factor makes transport and placement easy. Once paired with the camera, it will establish a two-way audio connection whenever the sound or motion sensors are triggered. It also has a bright LED that can alert you instead if you need to mute the audio. Picture quality is excellent for a 720p model. We particularly liked how its 30fps feed remains smooth and constant. Colors are vivid in a well-lit environment, while 12 powerful LEDs produce serviceable night vision in a 15-foot radius. The audio unit sound quality is crisp 
and your voice won't sound tinny or distorted when you talk to the baby. To conserve power, the camera only turns itself on when the sensors pick up sound or movement. Each time it does, a small clip called Baby Moment is recorded and stored for later viewing. Safety First offers a day's worth of storage for free, so you can review and download everything that happened while you were at work. Access sharing is another interesting feature that allows grandparents, coworkers, and other interested parties to view the feed for a while. Finally, the app features in-depth sensor sensitivity and alert customization for both devices. This model would have been so much better if you could record video on your own. At the moment you can only view the real-time feed, take snapshots, and store baby moments which only occur when the sensors are triggered. You'll need an excellent Wi-Fi connection to use the app normally as it has problems with camera lag and connection issues on unstable networks. The M7 is quite a hefty baby monitor and you'll need to make some room on a shelf to place it. The sturdy base is where all of its advanced sensors, audio equipment, and a small projector are. The projector casts an image of the night sky onto the nursery's walls and ceiling, soothing the baby into blissful slumber. A separate bulb as camera protrudes from the base and can rotate a full 360 degrees. Expect outstanding fold video quality that's on par with the Arlo's. Even better is the M7's night vision which we found to be the best of the bunch as it offers good contrast and can illuminate everything clearly up to 20 feet away. The monitor speaker doesn't lag behind either. Literally hundreds of songs, stories, and nature sounds can be played back in a warm yet clear tone. The iBaby app presents you with a live view as well as numerous customization options and features. The advanced air quality sensors can send an alert if the concentration of harmful particles gets too high and acts as an accurate diaper changing notice. You can also use the app to manually set diaper changing or feeding notices. Videos and stills can be recorded whenever you like and temporary permissions of varying levels can be issued to other users as well. While comprehensive, the app isn't intuitive. Getting to some settings is convoluted, and setting up permissions for others can take a while. When the projector is active, the whole monitor rotates in a circular motion. This means that the camera is moving too, and isn't focused on the baby. Installation of this monitor is similar to that of Nanit's model, and with good reason. The camera needs to be positioned to look over the center of the crib side in order for its sensors to gauge the baby's movements as intended. You'll need to do some drilling and cover the power cord up with something, but the monitor's accuracy and your baby's safety make it all worth a hassle. The 720p stream is of average quality, yet the night vision stands out as being both effective at longer distances in showing the tyke in detail. Similar to Safety First Seconds Baby Moments, the camera stores collections of photos and clips on Cocoon Cam's free cloud service. You can't manually record video. The app has standard monitoring features, but is really built around the activity picked up by the monitor's sophisticated motion sensors. They're so refined that they sense and log changes in breathing patterns each time the baby easters or wakes up with amazing accuracy. You can view each event in a timeline along with a picture of the baby that helps eliminate false alarms. The Cocoon Cam Plus's obvious drawback is a focus on just one sensor. It doesn't have sound or temperature sensors, so you can't intervene if the environment becomes uncomfortable for the baby. Later this year, Cocoon Cam plans to release a model called Clarity which will hopefully address these issues. Unlike other smart baby monitors you can set up in range of any outlet, the Nanit setup is a bit more involved. You have to place the monitor over the crib for accurate results of its motion sensors. A wall mount is included as part of the package, and there's a convenient stand you can buy separately if the crib isn't up against a wall. The monitor doubles as a nightlight whose glow points away from the baby, creating a soothing atmosphere. 960p is an unusual resolution for today's standards, but the camera's output is outstanding nevertheless.
the angle the monitor is set at helps give you a detailed bird's eye view of your infant, while well placed LEDs make for decent night vision. Should your internet go out, the monitor can communicate directly with your router and stream to your smartphone without interruption. If you subscribe to Nanit Insights, you get the benefit of the app's built in sleep tracking feature. This uses the monitor's motion sensors to determine how long it took for the baby to fall asleep, the overall sleep quality based on the amount of the baby's movement, and total sleep time. Adult visits are recorded too, and don't interfere with the sensor's assessments. Free features are a standard set of monitoring tools with video and photo saving, sensor threshold settings, and feed sharing. Nanit is by far the most expensive baby monitor on the list. Cost is compounded further by the optional stand and the monthly subscription, if you want to use Insight. You get the first year for free, but have to pay a minimum of $10 a month to continue using it afterward. That's all, thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. And if you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.